Welcome to FitFlow. Today we're going to stretch out the arms that are likely pretty sore. We're going to work into the core. We're going to do a full body yoga flow today. So let's begin in child's pose. Let's put the big toes to touch. Open up the knees and just take your chest down to the mat. Let your forehead come to rest or maybe make a pillow for your forehead with your hands if you'd like. But let your head come down and rest for a moment here. And take a breath in and a breath out. As you just start to welcome yourself to your mat and settle into this space. I invite you to focus on the word renew. Renewing the commitment to ourselves of why we began this journey. What did you want to achieve? What changes did you want to create? What shifts did you want to feel? And so today we renew that commitment. Feel yourself breathe it in to your entire being. And breathe out to just settle fully in. Beginning to lift up into tabletop. Taking it to all fours. Hands underneath the shoulder. Knees come underneath the hips. Take a moment to just move. Maybe making C's with the spine. Moving through the shoulders, through the neck. And then if you'd like to start moving into a few rounds of cow and cat. Rounding the spine. Arching your back as you drop your belly. Opening the chest. Exhaling to round into cat. Inhale for cow. One more time. Rounding into cat. One more time. Breathing in for cat. And then finding a neutral spine. Draw your belly up, but feel your tailbone just draw back and the crown of your head draw forward. And the first motion that we really do just to find expansion, length, stretching in our own body without even moving. And so we wake up to sensation in our body. We wake up, we renew. Reach your right arm up, take a breath in. As you exhale, thread it through, lay your right cheek down. And if you want to take that left arm and reach it behind your back for a little bit of a half bind, just feel yourself stretch into the right shoulder with a little downward pressure and then that opening through the left shoulder. Let it be more about this twist and this opening around the shoulder blades, but if you want to press further back into the hips, you could do that too. And then take that palm back down. Let's reach back up with that right hand. Take a breath in and then return to tabletop. Let's do that with the left hand, reaching up, opening up, reach for the sky, and then thread it through, lay your left cheek down. And then let that downward pressure help stretch into the left shoulder. And take your right arm back behind your back, letting it rest on your low back. It's an option. And maybe even press the back of your palm into the low back to help twist a little bit more. Breathe into the spaces where you feel the stretch, maybe the sore places in your body. And then release, bring that palm back down, reach up, take a breath in. Return to tabletop. We're gonna place our hands a little further forward. Tuck the toes, step the feet a little further back to find plank. Then open up your fingertips and press them down into your mat. Like if you walked away from your mat right now, you'd see your own fingertips, your imprint of your fingertips, press down. <laughs> and then shift forward and glide back. And just feel yourself roll through space here. Stretch your neck long, squeeze into your glutes. So squeeze your butt, squeeze the back of your legs, lifting them up towards the sky. Press down into the palm, then press that space between the shoulder blades up a little more. And then shift forward and hold. Lower all the way down to your belly. Then unfold your feet, so the tops of your feet press down. Let's breathe in Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Lift the chest, squeeze the glutes again. Release your chest back down. And then place your hands out wide, so feel the edges of your mat 
And then take this wide arm cobra, lift up again. And this time, drop your right elbow, your right shoulder. Lift to center. And exhale, drop the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Drop that right shoulder. Inhale to center. Drop the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Press down through the tops of the feet. Feel that energy move up the legs into the glutes. Open your chest, breathe in. Exhale, release it down to the mat. Take your hands narrow. Tuck the toes and return to high plank pose. Downward facing dog hips up. Pedal out your feet here. And then we're going to return to high plank. Separate your feet a little bit to give yourself a stronger foundation. And then bring it to shoulder taps. So start to just tap the shoulders. Build a little heat here. Tap the shoulders. Now see if you can keep your hips square to the mat and just lift the hands. So it's a challenge to try and keep the body really still. And so all the muscles engage as we do these shoulder taps for four, three, two, and one. Now shift forward. This time take it halfway down. Elbows draw back and tuck into your sides. Upward facing dog. Tops of the feet press down. Pull your palms towards your hips to help press your heart forward and open. Lift your chin, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale high on the toes. Look forward, step or float, and really soft at the top of your mat if you hop. Make a halfway lift, slide those hands to the front of the legs. Find that capital L shape with your body, feel strong. Release to a fold. Feel the release. Let's rise all the way up to mountain. Breathe in. And then a baby back bend here. Elbows go wide. So again, squeeze your glutes, your butt, just like when we were laying on the ground in that cobra. Open up here. Inhale, reach up. Palms touch. Forward fold. Take a halfway lift. Release to the fold. Let's find Ukatasana chair pose. So sit those hips down and back, reach your arms forward and feel this length from your hips all the way through the fingertips. But then a little tiny tuck of the pelvis so we take it out of the low back and we press down into the heels. And we breathe here for four. For three, renewing our commitment to ourselves. For two, hands to heart. Rise all the way up to mountain breathing. Baby back bend, exhale. Inhale to reach up. Take a forward fold down. Big halfway lift. Release to a forward fold. Let's do that again. Ukatasana. Breathe in. Hands to heart. Exhale. Rise up to mountain. Inhale. Baby back bend. Exhale. Inhale to reach up. Exhale for a forward fold. Halfway lift. Straightening out through the spine. And release to the forward fold. And we're going to do that again. And add a mantra here. Chair pose today. Hands to heart. I renew. Stand tall. My commitment to self. I am here. I am a whole. I am strong. Release to your forward fold. Let's do that one more time. Ukatasana today. I renew. My commitment. To self, I am here, I am a whole, I am strong. Really, let's do a forward pull. Take your left foot back, leaving your right leg forward for a low lunge. And then plant that left hand down and peel your right arm up for a simple twist. Now try and keep that right leg right where it is. Press down into the foot, bending that knee. Keep it steady and secure, and then pull back a little more through the hip, drawing it back and in, and yet you peel and press your belly into the inner thigh. So we're really finding that midline here. Breathe in, and as you exhale, reach back, and we're gonna rise all the way up to high crescent lunge. Now try and keep that same bend in that leg without lifting, just lift your torso up. Pop that back knee up, and so you feel the strength in the glute again. The hamstring help lift and secure you here. Press down into the back foot and then sink down into your front foot and then press your feet down and energetically away from each other. 
Reach those arms up, little tiny tuck the pelvis under. Find space, find strength, and focus on your intention. The shifts you wanna make in your life, feel them just resonate in your body here. Take a breath in. Plant your palms down, exhale, low lunge, step back to high plank. Shoulder tap, 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 tap. Trust your strength, <laughs> trust your commitment. Yes, trust yourself, whatever it is that you desire. You can bring into your body right here, right now. Focus on the strength it takes to stay into this. Of course, knees are a completely wonderful option. All fours are a wonderful option. Just keep moving. If you ask yourself, am I feeling a challenge? Am I pushing myself? Then you're doing it right if the answer is yes. Come to that high plank and paw, shift forward. Chaturanga, take a halfway down. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Listen, your right leg is going to lift for a three-legged dog. It doesn't have to lift much. We wanna keep the toes dialed down and lead with the heels. Instead of trying to open the hips, leave them square towards the mat, press through the palms to lift that heel up. Take a breath in. And then draw that knee forward and just let it kind of swivel a little bit. Like it's brushing your mat, sweeping it. Yes. So find a little fluidity, a little calm, and yet the strength it takes to hold your body right here. And then hold, tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it into your chest. We're gonna step all the way through, low lunge. Take a big breath in to rise up to warrior two. Peel your back heel down. Open your arms, sink your hips down. Take your gaze forward over that front hand. Warrior two. Press down into both feet. Press away from each other. Breathe in. Breathe out to lower and narrow the low ribs. But yet as you breathe in, you broaden across the shoulders. Listen, warrior two represents discipline, determination, and strength. Renew. All of that for yourself right here. Flip that front palm, reverse your warrior, tip it up and back. Big breath in. All the way back down to a low lunge. Now you can bring your hands to your thighs or all the way down, but we're gonna step forward into a forward fold. Ukatasana chair pose. Today, hands to heart, I renew. Let's rise up. My commitment to self. I am here, I am whole, I am strong. Release to your forward fold. Take your right leg, step it back, leaving your left leg forward, low lunge. Peel that left arm up for a simple twist. And again, feel that left leg really secure. Keep that knee right where it is, but feel like you could grow longer in that femur, pulling that hip further back. Right, so you create and deepen the sensation that you're feeling. That's yoga, right? Feeling your breath, feeling the different sensations through our bodies, waking up every part of our body. Feel that shoulder blade draw down towards your spine, really opening the chest. And then backstroke that arm back. And we're gonna rise all the way up to high crescent lunge. Reach up like you're scooping all that energy, bring it up. And that back knee is popped up and that heel is lifted. So we're really folding through the back toes. Sink into your front foot, and then press down through the feet. And press energetically away from each other just to wake up the muscles, right, in a different way. Again, deepening sensation. Reach up with your hands. Stretching tall, a little tuck with the pelvis so we draw underneath the shoulders. One more big breath here. Bring those hands down, low lunge, step back to high plank. Shoulder taps, shoulder taps. Take your knees down if you need to. Bring it to all fours if that works better for you. Choose how much pressure you put in the shoulders. Now, see if you can speed it up. Speed it up without rotating through the body to help you get those hands to your shoulders. Challenge yourself to stay really centered with your heart aiming to one spot in the mat and it never moves. For five, four, three, two, one shift forward, chaturanga halfway down. Upward facing dog, open the chest. Downward facing dog, lift your hips and breathe out. Left leg lifts, breathe in. 
exhale to really root into the three points of contact on your mat. Yeah, feel that heel lift. And then draw that knee towards the chest and then just swivel it. A little loosey-goosey wiggle, <laughs> sweeping across your mat. Breathe. Find the opposition, right? The contrast of this sweeping, relaxed motion with the hip and yet really strong in the rest of your body to hold here. And then hug it tight into your chest and step it through to a low lunge. Take a breath and rise, warrior two. Peel that back heel down. Sink down into your warrior two. And then notice if this knee falls inward. Can you draw that left knee out towards the pinky toe and then sink down into it. Tighten up through the quads. Press down into your back foot. Now feel like the inside of your left thigh is just kind of peeling up towards the ceiling. And you're gonna feel your outer glutes turn on a little more. Take a breath in and a breath out to stay. Flip that front palm, reverse your warrior. Yeah, keep that leg right where it is. Let the stretch come through your body. Cartwheel all the way down, low lunge. And you can have your hands on your thighs if it's better, but we're gonna step forward into a forward fold. Yeah, Ukatasana. Today, hands to heart, I renew. Rise up, my commitment to self. I am here, I am whole, I am strong. Have a seat, Navasana, boat pose. So hands to heart, lengthen those legs. Lift your chest up towards your hands. So give yourself a point of contact to lift to. Yeah, so strong. And then lower and lift for four, for three. Now you can bend the knees for two, for one, hold. If you need to bring your toes down, go ahead, but keep that chest lifted instead of rounding and holding here strong. The point is to lean back with the shoulders, tighten up through the core, or you can keep your feet lifted and then rotate and twist. And then inhale and reach, lift that chest. Rotate and twist, inhale and reach. Exhale to twist, inhale to lift through center. Exhale to twist, feel that breath and lift you up. Exhale to lean back and twist. Now that elbow does not need to touch your mat. Right, we're just finding a twist and we're creating this compression and this contraction through the muscles. That's all we're looking for, we're not looking to get anywhere. We're looking to feel that deep sensation in the body, to feel your strength and renew your commitment, remember nobody's commitment here was to twist and touch the ground. Our commitment was probably to get stronger, to feel better, to feel energy. So let's renew what our commitment really is. Lift up, take a hold of the legs and rock and roll. So just allow yourself to round through the spine and rock and roll. We're gonna come to the feet into chair. Now, if that rocking and rolling and lifting to chair isn't the way that you get to chair, again, there's a thousand ways to get back up to chair. <laughs> Find your chair pose. Breathe in. Exhale, release to a forward fold. And take your left leg, bring it back, low lunge. Heel open, simple twist. And then cartwheel that arm back, rise up. High crescent lunge, take a breath in this time. We're gonna twist in high crescent lunge to draw your right arm back, your left arm forward. Inhale, unwind, staying in the high lunge. We're gonna do that again, exhale to twist. We're gonna challenge our balance a little bit here as we change our perspective. And right, we change our gaze, twist, looking to the side. We unwind, we look forward, we reach up. We twist because life twists us, it pulls us in different directions, and yet we find that we can stand tall. We can renew. Palms down, low lunge. Step back, high plank. Downward facing dog. Take your left hand, reach back for your right leg. High plank. Downward facing dog, right arm reaches back. For the left leg, high plank. <laughs> Keep switching the arms. Keep switching the arms. Left hand, right leg. Right hand, left leg. Left hand, right leg. Lift those hips, use your core. Keep switching, lift the hips, use your core. 
Then come to that high plank, shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, take a breath in. And then bring that knee forward. And we're gonna cross the body and draw that knee towards your left elbow. Keep your body in this plank. Swivel that knee over to the right elbow, opening the hip. Then cross your body into that twist. And then bring it back. And so we go left elbow. We go right elbow. Now hold it at the left and extend your leg out so you land on the outer edge of that foot. And then open up. So spin that back heel down too. So now you're on the inside edge of your left foot and the outer edge of your right foot. And then breathe in, lift the hips. Press down into your right hand to lift up a little further through the hips into what I call rock star. Feel like a rock star. Here you are in your fit flow today, in your commitment, renewing it to yourself today. Big breath in. And then release that hand down. Pull your knee to your chest. We're gonna lift back up to three-legged dog, but then bend the knee, scorpion the dog, open the hips here. Now the hips can really open. And then bring that knee forward, low lunge. Rise all the way up, warrior two. Exhale to lower down. Flip that wrist, reverse your warrior. Yeah, cartwheel all the way down, low lunge. So step forward to a forward fold. Ukatasana chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, lower, lower the hips. Have a seat, Navasana bow pose. Find yourself here. Bend the knees, hands to heart. Take a breath in and then twist to your right, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale to reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Lift. Twist, control. You're gonna feel the hip flexors. You're gonna feel your core. You're gonna feel your obliques. Strong in the chest. Lift, rotate. Lift, rotate. Stay in it for four. For three, for two, and one. Hands to the back of the thighs, rock and roll. Again, if another option works better for you, take it, but we're gonna come to chair pose. So lift and find yourself sitting down into chair, Utkatasana. Breathe in. Exhale, release to a forward fold. Take that right leg back, low lunge, leaving your left leg forward. Open up, simple twist, breathe in. You reach back as you exit and rise up. Take a big breath in for high crescent lunge. This time we twist. Draw that left arm back, right arm forward. And then return to your high lunge. Keep your legs just how they are. Center those hips and then find that twist. So let that twist come from the power that you have through your foundation. Inhale to rise. Exhale to twist. Let your arms be long and strong. Inhale to rise. Exhale, twist. One more time, breathe in here. Exhale to twist. And then inhale, high lunge. Bring those hands down. Step back to high plank. Lift the hip. Left hand, right leg. Come back to plank. Right hand, left leg. And here we go. Now you can find momentum, but find enough of a moment to hit that high plank and lock it in and then lift the hips. Use your abdominals to help lift and pike those hips up. Pike them up. Use your strong arms to press down into the mat to give yourself that counter pressure to lift the hips away from the ground. Press back into the heels and feel that stretch. Okay, so it's about feeling sensation, creating strength and energy for four, for three, for two, one more high plank shift forward. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. <laughs> left leg lifts, breathe in, three legged dog. And then draw that left knee over to the right elbow, cross under your body, hold. Get those shoulders over your wrist. And then bring that knee to the left elbow, back to the right, over to the left, back to the right, over to the left this time, to the right and hold, kick it out to the outer edge of the foot. Let your back heel fall open and lift up into rock star. Breathe in, really lift those hips. 
breathe out, release that hand down. Pull your thigh to your chest. Pick it up, three-legged dog. Scorpion your dog, open up through the hips. And bring it all the way through. Low lunge. Cartwheel up. Warrior two. Exhale to settle in. Reverse your warrior. Breathe in. Cartwheel all the way down. Low lunge. We're coming forward to a forward pull. Ukatasana chair. Hands to heart stay. Rotate to your right. Rotate to your left. Sit those hips down and back. Rotate. Draw your belly in to find the twisting action. Rotate. Rotate. Four. Three. Two. Hold the twist on your left. Maybe even draw that elbow down to the outside of your left leg. And then if you've got that, use that pressure downward to help lift your heart up towards your thumb. Keep your hips back. But if you've noticed that your right hip starts to sneak forward, pull your right hip back. Draw your belly and let it be a twist instead of a rotation through the trunk of your body, right? So open up through the arm and then come back to center. Hang on, hang on, twist the other direction. And maybe hook that elbow around the thigh and use that downward pressure to then twist a little deeper to lift your heart towards your thumb. And if you've noticed that left hip sneaks forward, right, draw it back. Let that rotation be in your torso and then maybe even open up the arms. Unwind, hands to heart. Rise up, breathe in. Baby back bend, exhale. Inhale to reach up. Forward fold, take it down. Halfway lift. Release to a fold. Take your left leg back, low lunge. Let's flow. Right arm lift, inhale. Back stroke it back, exhale. Rise up to high crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale to twist, draw your right arm back. Stay in high crescent lunge, reach both arms up overhead. Twist again. High crescent lunge, inhale. Find your strength here, your commitment. Pull back into the twist. Rise up to high crescent lunge. Pull back and twist, hold on, hold on, hold the twist. This time, keep your twist, but drop back and lift your left arm up into exalted warrior. Take a breath in. Yeah, cartwheel all the way down, low lunge. Come back to a high plank or three-legged plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Your right leg lifts three-legged dog. And bring that right knee to the left elbow as you exhale and then kick that leg out. Inhale for rock star spin, that back heel down to the mat. And then bring your palm down. Bend your knee to bring it through and bring it up, scorpion dog, inhale. Exhale, step it all the way through, low lunge. Breathe in, rise up, warrior two. Exhale to stay. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Third wheel all the way down, low lunge. We're coming forward into a forward fold. This time, have a seat. Hands to heart. Knees are bent. Now, rotate to your right, extend your left leg. Inhale, reach through center. Hands come to heart, rotate to your left, extend your right leg. Inhale to reach, and now start just repeating that. And I think it's essentially the same thing that we did in chair. Right, now doing it in boat pose. Finding these twists, finding this length through the legs. Creating intensity, creating a challenge. So again, asking yourself, do I feel challenged? Am I pushing myself? takes a push to continue that forward motion in our lives, to create the change, to create the shift. Stay in your intention. Stay in your commitment to yourself. For four, lift. For three, lift. For two, lift one more, one more. And then hands to the back of the thighs. Rock and roll, we're coming back to Katasana. Gather that momentum, come to the soles of the feet. Lift, keep those hips really low. Hands to heart. Rise up to mountain breathing. Baby back bend, exhale. 
Inhale to reach tall. Take a forward fold down. And a halfway lift. Release to your fold. And now your right leg steps back, low lunge, leaving your left leg forward. Let's flow this side, simple twist, left arm lift. Exhale as you just swim it back and then rise up, high crescent lunge, inhale. And then we find a twist here, breathe out, draw that left arm back. Inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale to twist. Now really find that length and that strength through your arms as they slice through the air. Breathe out, twist. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Twist and hold. And we move to exalted warrior so that left arm reaches down and back for the back of the thigh as your right arm lifts up. And so we're twisted and it's a deep stretch. Lift your back knee. Feel the stretch from the knee through the hips, up through your chest. I roll all the way down, low lunge. And step back to high plank or maybe a three-legged plank. And take chaturanga or maybe ekapada chaturanga here. Upward facing dog, which just means three-legged chaturanga. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Left leg lift, breathe in. Left knee, right elbow as you exhale and then kick it through. Rock star, breathe in. Feel that back heel down so you can lift and open the hips. And then bring that palm down. We're coming back to three-legged dog. But then scorpion your that knee, let the hips open. Bring it all the way through, low lunge. Fire wheel up, warrior two. Exhale to stay. Inhale to reverse your warrior tip it up and back. Car roll all the way down, low lunge. We're stepping forward into a forward fold. And then we're gonna have a seat. Boat pose. <sighs> and you extend your legs. And you lift your chest and just hold space for yourself. Draw your belly in, lift your chest for four. For three. For two. One, rock and roll. Rock and roll, we're coming up to chair. Ukatasana. Release to a forward fold. We're gonna take Ukatasana again. With our mantra, we go, slow it down. Today, hands to heart, I renew. Stand up. My commitment to self. I am here. I am whole. I am strong. Release to your fault. Chair pose. Today, I renew my commitment to self. I am here. I am whole. I am strong. Release to your forward fold. See your vision in your mind, your commitment what you're renewing to yourself today, what you truly are looking for on this journey. And one more time, hold it close to you and feel it. Chair pose today. I renew my commitment to self. I am here. I am whole. I am strong. Release to a fold. Plant your palms. Step back. Child's pose. Let your big toes touch and your knees go apart. Let your chest fold down and your forehead come to rest. Back to the place where you began. Back to the place where you renewed your commitment. How do you feel now? Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's begin to lift up to seat. If your schedule allows, I invite you and encourage you to lay back on your back and take Shavasana for several minutes. If this is all your time allows for, then We'll finish seated together, renewing our commitment on this journey. Remembering that it's not about nailing the poses or being able to go as fast. That it's about changing 
the workouts to suit your body best because your commitment is likely to get stronger, more flexible, to have more energy, to feel better. So continue to ask yourself, am I challenging myself? Do I feel challenged? Am I pushing myself? And if the answer is yes, then you're on your way. <laughs> you're on your way to fulfilling your commitment to self. So thank you for letting me be a part of this journey. Bringing hands to heart center. Truly from my heart to yours, connected in this way. Namaste.